Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants. This is your boy, Rudy Rodriguez Shomot here. Back to give you another one, man. Today was a busy day in women's basketball. They decided to have all these new, again, 11 a.m., noon, 3 p.m. games. So um, it was a busy day because I guess they're doing basketball for summer camp kids or what have you. But anyhow, if you haven't done so already, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And you know, subscribe to our YouTube page along with uh, – Following us on Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Facebook at Come On Now Podcast, and at TikTok, oh, I'm sorry, at Twitter, X at Come On Now Pod. I am at a loss for words. I just when I thought I'd seen it all, I just watched earlier today a game that was over. Angel Reese has a record of 12 consecutive double-doubles. One of them against the Minnesota Lynx a few games ago was saved by a referee calling a foul in Nafisa Collier on a loose ball foul on a rebound with the Minnesota Lynx leading by nine points. That gave Angel Reese the ability to hit a free throw, which gave her 10 points to continue the double-double streak. Whether you say Nafisa Collier, Collier fouled her on purpose or not, I don't think she did. I think the call was fluffy. It was a nine-point game with 20 seconds left. Um, but that was a gift by the officials, by Nafisa Collier, to continue Angel Reese's streak of double-doubles. She breaks the record. She's at 13. Today, she gets number 14. But today is a big problem. And this is a big problem with what's happening with these with, with, this, with the WNBA. They're up seven with 10 seconds left. Kenny Carter's on the wing, dribbling the ball out. And Angel Reese is in the block begging for the ball because she only has nine points. And if she doesn't score, she won't continue her double-double streak. So while Kennedy Carter is dribbling the ball out. Marina Mabry comes from behind her and is pointing at Angel Reese and has her hand, and Angel Reese is begging for the ball. And Kennedy Carter passes the ball to Marina Mabry, who immediately dumps it into the post to Angel Reese. You're up seven with seven seconds left. Atlanta has stopped playing. They're not doing anything. They're not. The game is over. They're allowing you to dribble the game out. You would never see this in an NBA game. I've never, I've never seen what I just saw in an NBA game. And I'm sure it's probably happened. But never have I seen it be that goddamn blatant where player is begging for the ball. You're, the game is over. They're dribbling it out. And yet a teammate gets the ball from the other teammate. Dumps it in, but here is where it gets crazy. Tina Charles from the Atlanta Dream literally wraps up Angel Reese and fouls her. She fouled her on purpose. She fouled her on purpose. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. If she's going to get the continue the streak, at least make her make the shot. Tina Charles fouls her on purpose. She wrapped her up. What are you wrapping her up for? You're up. You're down seven. The game is over. You weren't fouling before. And you you wrap her up to put her at, to the line. She makes both free throws. And now the double-double streak continues. Look, Angel Reese is having a great year. I'm not going to take anything away from her. She's having a great year. She's doing a lot more than I ever expected, and I've said that before. She's far exceeded my expectations. I didn't think she'd be this effective in the WNBA. I think there are reasons why she is. I think the fact that Camila Cardoso's on that floor with her helps her a whole lot because Camila's a big girl, and Camila takes away it takes attention as well, which frees up Angel to grab rebounds. But nothing will stop Angel's motor. Angel's motor is strong. She keeps going and going and going and going and going. I will always give her credit for that. No question about it. 
But this, this is Bush League. This is the type of Bush League shit which makes you look at this team. I can't even believe that Teresa Weatherspoon is not in the locker room going off about this. She's old school. She is old school. You do not do this in a basketball game. The game is over. You're dribbling it out. The game is done. Sorry, you didn't continue your streak. Sucks. Start another one. That's it. Start another one. But to con- you can how can you even look at yourself in the mirror and feel comfortable with this streak, which was aided by officials in the a few games ago, which allowed you to get to the point where you broke the record. And now this. This is an issue to me. This is a big problem to me. If you want to even, we can even go to the point of the Seattle game where her shot was blocked with two minutes and change. She catches her own block shot and she gets a rebound for that. I don't think catching your own block shot should ever be a rebound. I don't think that should be, a, I don't think that should be a stat. You catch your own block shot. That's not a rebound in my opinion. But in that game, I gave her 10 rebounds and continued her streak as well. Yeah, it's it's like the assist where you're standing next to the rim, you're wide open, and someone's there, and you just dish it off. I hate that. That's not an assist to me. That's bullshit. That's bush league. I don't like bush. I don't like bush league type plays. I don't like bush league stuff to manipulate a system for numbers. I don't like it. I'm old. I can't help it. I'm an old school guy. I like shit being earned. It's the same reason I have issues with this whole LeBron James, Bronny James situation in the draft. All that crap. But this crap right here is as bad as I've ever seen because there's no way in hell that you ever see this in an NBA game where the defender wraps up the player to let them go shoot free throws in a game that's over. They might let him get a layup, but they're not going to foul him. That's what makes it so egregious is that it looks like you fouled her on purpose to help her. So are you on the different teams or are you playing together? It's mind-blowing to me to see that but you can't walk around with a straight fit, with, a, with your head up and say, yeah, I got this streak. This streak is done, in my opinion. The streak is over. The streak cannot be used as an argument for X, Y, Z. If you're arguing rookie of the year, that streak is over with. So you can't say, oh, she had a 25-game double-double streak. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because that streak ended today. Hell, it really ended versus Seattle and it ended versus Minnesota. But it really, 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 more than anything, ended today because Kennedy Carter, if Marina Mabry is not next to her asking for the ball to get it into Reese, she dribbles the ball out and the game is done. They got the win. Big win for them because today Indiana blew an opportunity versus the Mystics, a game they should have won that they basically did nothing in the first half and turned the ball over like a hot potato and put themselves in a 23 point hole in the fourth, you know, in the third and fourth quarter. And I mean, they got it down to three points in the, in the the final minutes, but couldn't complete the comeback. But this is not the way you get records. This is not the way you extend streaks. This is not the way you do it. You either do it the right way. You don't do it. You earn it. God, this this concept of earning, I could not look at myself in the mirror and sit here and say, yeah, I got that streak. My streak kept going. No, it didn't. It ended. It's over. It's over. Not even the biggest Angel Reese apologist could sit here and find that what happened today okay. There's not an Angel Reese apologist who could sit here and be okay with what happened today. That is not the way basketball is played. That is not competition. It is just not. But that's where we are today, where we are giving away stuff and we are not playing the way you should. If that was to happen, I remember watching NBA games where a guy steals the ball down 40. A guy, I think it was Kansas had a game in University of Kansas, KU had a game. Guy steals the ball backcourt or mid mid court. They're not paying attention. He goes and dunks and starts flexing his chest. They're down forty. They're down forty. Oh, I'm gonna keep playing the whistle. Yeah, that that keep playing the whistle stuff is cute. It's cute. It's not real. You keep playing to the whistle in games that are not decided. You're down forty with 
ten, eight seconds left. Just let the game get dribbled out. You're up seven with the ball, and they're not fouling you with eight seconds left, ten seconds. Dribble it out. Game's over. What are we doing, man? You cheapened the record. It doesn't exist anymore. You got the record. But now that record, anything beyond now is cheap. It's garbage. It's not real. It sucks to it sucks to see this. It sucks to truly see this because they get a big win, and it just doesn't sit right with me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And please do share this video. Subscribe today. Come on now. Thank you.